Hey everybody, Pastor Darren here, and I'm here alongside of my friend, Pastor Bjorn Giesekink, and you are a part of our team, and we're going to be talking about some stuff sure. that's going to be good, but really quick, for those of you that are watching, uh, most likely you believe in God, you believe that He has created you for such a time as this, you've got prophetic words, you're somewhat aware of your prophetic destiny, but you're wondering how to really engage it. And also, if you're watching this, most likely there's some pain within your past that's keeping you from the fullness of God's future for your life. And one of the things that you and I have in common is that we believe that community is the answer to really stepping into the fullness of our, of our destiny. And I wanted to ask you, how important has family been, the family of God, been to your own identity and destiny? Having people who are believing with you and doing life with you, um, just for me personally, has been some of the most important uh, part of my development in my walk with God. Um, you know, I've had mentors, I've had leaders, um, but also importantly, I've had friends who would walk alongside me, whether I was going through an easy time or maybe something really difficult. Um, but I believe that it really just reinforces our relationship with God. Um, so family is definitely at the center of my ministry and what I want to see um, just going forward. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And most likely that's resonating with you. Isn't that what we all want? We want people walking alongside of us. And this is why we're expanding. This is why we're really expanding our campus from being just in Newcastle, Washington to now a second campus that we're calling Eden North is because we want to create environments where every believer can do life with each other, but not just drinking good coffee, which we believe in, and yes, not just eating absolutely. good food, which is an unofficial core value of yeah. Eden, is absolute, <laughs> is food, mm -hmm. right? But really, so that we are um, partnering and co-laboring to see God's kingdom come, His will accomplish on the earth, and this happens through an army. And uh, how important is mission to you? Because I know you're a community guy. I know you're a family uh, guy. You, you, uh, you reek of relationship. And I've always loved that about you. You refuse to do kingdom outside of relationship. But how important is mission and being missionally minded and, and, and being salt and light? How important is that to you? And how important will that be to Eden North? Yeah. Um, I believe that living on mission uh, means actually being the church that is outside of the four walls um, that's present for a community and isn't just a monument uh, for people to visit on Christmas and Easter. Um, I believe that the church is actually supposed to be a part of the community as much of the community a part of the church. Wow. Um, wow. Just being able to embrace the concept of we are not meant to be separate from the world, but we're not supposed to be of the world. Um, so us being able to just say like, hey, come be a part of what's going on. There are no strings attached to your involvement. Whether you're a believer or not, like we want you to be exposed to the love of God because God wants every one of us to have a personal experience that's thriving. Um, and there have been a lot of people who have just been burned by the church. Wow. Let's just being real about it is that there have been so many people who have walked away because of their... Um, their expectation was put into people. Um, we will own just the, the aspect of we are human. Like, so we're gonna make mistakes, whether, whether you're in leadership or not, um, it's important to just acknowledge that we're all human, but we believe that we are here for a purpose and that is to reach the world, um, to share the love of Jesus to every person because every person D they deserve <laughs> an opportunity to experience what Jesus actually paid for on the cross. Wow, wow. I'm just reminded of Jesus when he looked out at the, at the masses mm -hmm. and he said, the masses are like sheep without a shepherd, yeah. helpless and harassed. And he encourages his disciples to pray to the Lord of the harvest. And that's one of the things I love about you is it's very rare to find somebody that, that's really into authentic community and yet still has a heart uh, to leave the 99 to go after the one. And I, I yeah. love that about you. You know, um, you 
uh, were a worship leader for many years. That was a p big part of your story. And yeah. You had this massive heart of David and this love for the presence of God. One of the things that we see biblically is this tie between worship and justice to the degree where the Lord is revealing through the prophet Amos that he doesn't even want to hear any religious songs if his people aren't taking care of the poor, taking care of the fatherless. Uh, we see this thread throughout the word of God that our God is a God of justice. And yeah. I, I know that this is very important to you, that place where we're um, taking care of people and loving people without strings attached, without, without a motive of conversion, but this idea that in Eden, everybody had a home. In, in yeah. Eden, every son had a father. Every yeah. daughter had a, had a, had a mother. <laughs> that sounds funny <laughs> saying. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but this idea of, uh, of justice and being a voice for the voiceless. Yeah. How important has that been even in your own life? Um, you know, I, just being able to be a solution to a problem when I actually see it is going to be always, I, I think something is going to propel me forward um, in anything that I do. Wow. And that's something that um, all of us are really called to. Um, we're called to actually do, well, help when there's a problem. Um, I don't want to be the religious person who walks by uh, the broken person on the side of the road. Wow. Um, wow. You know, the Good Samaritan, uh, that whole story, it resonates with me uh, because I don't want to uh, be so wrapped up in maybe even just the religious uh, side of what church can become um, to where I forget that my purpose is actually to love those around me. Wow. Um, no matter where they're at um, wow. and whether, whether society deems them worthy um, or not. Um, it's actually important that we make sure that the love of the Father actually stays at the center of everything that we do. Wow. Um, and for, for me, I want to make sure that I just stay closely tied to that love and not give in to this obligation of religious duty. Wow, wow, so, wow. Yeah. Uh, so you seem like a man on a mission. Yeah. And you're building this incredible team. Uh, we've, you're building an army, yeah. uh, which, is, which is very exciting. And for anybody that's going to join an army, they want to know, hey, I, I want to stand for something. I want yeah. my life to stand for something. And if that's you and you're watching this and you're saying, I want my life to stand for something and, and, uh, and I'm willing to be a part of an army, but I got to know what the mission is. And, uh, and Bjorn, if, if somebody were to ask you, hey, I'm willing to, to stand with you. I'm willing to fight uh, with you and fight for you, but what are we, what are we really doing? What are you guys doing yeah. with Eden North? What's, what's really the mission? What would you tell them? I would tell them we're going after restoration. Um, we're going after restoration through justice, um, through restoring the broken places in the Arlington, Marysville, Lake Stevens area, really just being able to, um, we want people to go from a place of brokenness to wholeness, and then from their wholeness, they can actually uh, be a part of restoring other people's lives. Um, I'm going to say like every one of us has a garden within ourselves that actually needs to be restored. Mm -hmm. um, and when we actually begin to experience that, like what maybe some people would uh, explain as revival, um, we actually start to see that garden come back to life. Wow. And we actually are stepping into a place that ultimately God designed us to be in of perfect relationship with him. Wow. Um, and we have the opportunity to take others with us. Wow. Um, so I want to see Arlington, Marysville, Lake Stevens, specifically that area come back to life. Wow. I actually want to see like boots on the ground, people doing things in the community um, where you can see an a physical representation of restoration, wow. where we're, we are actually on the street doing things that are going to be impacting people's lives, um, making them better. Um, we are still coming up with different ways, uh, different programs and different things that we'll be able to do to give people resources that they maybe otherwise wouldn't have. Wow. Um, and you know, we're still waiting on God to inspire some of those things and we're asking good questions. Uh, around what voids are there in those communities. Wow. Wow. Um, because I believe that 
really this revival or um, restoration of the garden in each of us is actually going to happen um, in families. Um, it's going to take, sometimes it's going to start with the children, and sometimes it's going to start with the parents, but we believe that every single person needs to have that uh, experience where they are coming back to life. Wow. Um, so that's, that's really the mission, is to see people come back to life and uh, then stepping into a perfect relationship with God. I, and this is an ongoing thing. Sure. I don't have a perfect relationship with God. I don't believe that you do either. Maybe, maybe you do. It's pretty perfect. Um, it's, pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty perfect. It's pretty perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, like being able to take people with us on yeah. this journey because we're all a part of the family. And what God desires is that no man would, should perish, but that they would have eternal life through him, through his son. Come on, come on, come on. So if this is resonating with you, awesome. If it's not, that's totally okay. This, this mission isn't necessarily for everybody. But if you want to join us in restoring cities and nations with the power and love of Jesus Christ, then come check out one of our campuses. We're in Eden, Newcastle, and now Eden North, yep. serving Lake Stevens, Marysville, and Arlington. Guys, we're just getting warmed up. I'm telling you, uh, we have yet to see some stuff. Okay, we have, um, the, the, I wanted to say uh, the best is yet to come. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Guys, if this is resonating with you, we want to invite you to be a part of this mission, to bring restoration to cities and nations through the power and love of, of Jesus Christ. Come and check out one of our campuses. We're at Eden Newcastle and now Eden North, yeah. serving the people of Lake Stevens, Marysville, and Arlington. Guys, we're just getting warmed up. I'm telling you, we haven't seen anything yet. Remember, you are absolutely loved. Yeah. Blessings. Blessings.